The Paderno Spiralizer is a really fun tool. We've gotten such a kick out of using it here in the test kitchen. It allows you to make spiral cuts in a variety of thicknesses that you can't make with a knife or even a mandolin. So why spiral cuts? Well, you can make curly fries, vegetable noodles for soup or super healthy pasta, spiral slaws, salads, the list just goes on and on. So let me show you how it works. I'm gonna start by doing this zucchini pasta, which is amazing. And this is the blade I wanna use for it. I'm just gonna slide it right in and it clicks into place. Let me show you something else that's really cool. So they have this great storage area where you can store the other blades that you're not using. So cool. All right, to get started, I'm just gonna press this down on my countertop and it'll suction on. I'm good to go. I've got my blade in place and then let's start with the zucchini. I'm just cutting the ends off to make it a little more stable as I put it right here. So you just press it in to the handle. You line it right up with the other side. And now I'm gonna hold this handle while I twist and watch what happens. You just push. You get these incredible strands that look just like real pasta, but so much better for you. This has become such a hit on our website. So amazing. And now that I'm done with one zucchini, let's take a look. See this beautiful shape? This sautés so easily in a pan with fresh tomatoes for a really simple version of pasta. It's just so fun and clean tasting. All right, let's try a potato now. So I changed it out with a wider blade so we can make curly fries. This one is really fun. You just gotta push as you go. And look how easy this is. You can do so many in a short amount of time. So for curly fries, you're gonna want to cut the potatoes before you fry all of these. So I just have a pair of scissors right here. You can move these onto your cutting board. So you don't want one long potato when you're making curly fries. So I'm just gonna snip them and get a couple going. There we go. Now I put in the flat blade so we can make apple chips. This is one of my favorite things to do with this. Okay, here we go. It's just so fast. These are perfect for apple chips. You can just put them in the oven by themselves or bake them with a little cinnamon and sugar and they're amazing. So when you're done using your spiralizer, all of the pieces are dishwasher safe. It's pretty incredible and so much fun. We'd love to see what amazing dishes you come up with, so post a review on our website and share your ideas and pictures.